today is May 11. Uh, me and Man just back from work. Uh, yeah, just she's buying the dinner for us, and I'm going to get a drink for her. Yeah, uh, today has been a very busy day for me. I just continue my small renovation. Yeah, the reason why I do not want to show you that is because, uh, as you can see, my room is actually small. It's too small that I am not allowed to put any camera on it when I'm doing the renovation stuff. The size of my room is actually one of the reasons why I need to do some renovation because it's so packed. It looks so packed, there's no space for me to locate any camera inside easily for full shot, even wider shot. Now at Jalan Chan Saolin, uh, having supper with them. Twelve o'clock midnight. Recently in Malaysia, there's an incident happened. Uh, it's about a university student commit suicide because of the pressure in his exam. And yeah, this is how it reported. And it ends up that's another version of this story. Is He's being bullied. He's being cyber bullied. By the way, I never do verification on whether he's being bullied or the pressure in his college. Yeah, I don't trust mainstream news anymore. By the way, it doesn't matter because uh, it, it's not going to affect what I'm going to say now. Before I mention anything about cyber bullying, I would like to clarify that uh, this is only my own humble opinion. And if you disagree with me, just leave me a comment and tell me what you think about this. There's few articles I read in my Facebook today uh, about this incident. Mostly it's about cyberbullying, freedom of speech. What I need to talk about is from different perspective. Perspective. Yeah, it's from different perspective of mine about this incident. Criticism and cyberbullying. This is what I think. We are given the freedom of speech and we are allowed to critique, we are allowed to say anything that we want, this is a good thing. But it's up to a certain level that uh, cyberbullying is not about we can or we cannot. Cyberbullying is about we should or we should not. We are allowed to comment anything that we want, but it doesn't mean that we should. You can still give a very rude comment if you want. It's your freedom. Uh, you might receive a lot of critique about other opinions that is different from yours. Yeah, that's somebody gonna say that you are bad, somebody gonna say that, but that's not cyberbullying. You can't just say, oh, you have different opinion than mine, you are bullying me. You are saying something bad about me, you are bullying me. That, that's no, that's just criticism. We are allowed to critique and say anything that we want. You can't just use it as cyberbullying. You can't just say that I'm bullying you. I'm not. I'm just saying different opinion than yours. That, that's all. Uh, I'm not bullying. I just express myself. Yeah, of course, I, I have to admit that there's a lot of people will misuse the freedom of speech and attack other people. That, there's no doubt about that. We can see a lot of cases from the internet uh, and it's obvious. And of course, different countries have their own rules or uh, regulations towards this freedom of speech. It's just like in Malaysia. Yeah, it's just like in Malaysia, there's certain issue that we still not allowed to talk about. What you need to do is just follow the rules. We are good citizens, and yeah, that's enough. I definitely gonna hear a lot of different opinion from other people from everywhere, and some of them is just hide behind the monitor. Yeah, they they are just hater. They are just whatever you call. Once we are given the freedom of speech, there's no doubt that cyberbullying will happen. Uh, what you can do is just be tough. Commit suicide is definitely not the way to solve this problem, or it's not the way that you should do. Yeah, we can't we can't sacrifice the freedom of speech because of cyberbullying. 
there's no doubt that many people will misuse of it. Uh, there's something that we cannot control. To the bullier, uh, you are given the freedom of speech. You can say any comment, any bad word to anyone you want uh, in the internet. That's your freedom. Again, that's not a problem about you can or you cannot. That's a problem about you should or you should not. Given a knife, it doesn't mean that you need to hurt other people. When you see a building with a door open, it doesn't mean that you can go in and take whatever you want out from that building. Yeah, it's something that we should control ourselves. And of course, if you disagree with me, that's up to you, that's your freedom. Everyone have their own measurement about what you should and you shouldn't. There's nothing, yeah, there's nothing much I can do. And for the victims, commit suicide is definitely not a way no matter what happened it's not it's not what you should do yeah even that you are being bullied online or whatever just what you need to do is just be tough and being tough is not easy of course and just ignore all sort of bullying especially cyber bully they can't do anything they just talk bad about you online they can't even touch your hair so what you need to care about just be tough Again, I have to repeat myself, this is not about the particular case uh, just happened in Malaysia. It's about what I think about cyberbullying in generally, what I think about uh, the freedom of speech in the internet. And if you agree or disagree with me, you can leave a comment below. And if you like it, just share it. Subscribe to my channel, I'll be uploaded daily. I think that's all for today. See you tomorrow.